Welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this baby hat using the fern stitch. It's knit in the round and it's for baby boys and girls between zero and six months. You can also make it for newborns. Down here in the information box, I'll leave some information on how you can make it smaller, so be sure to check that out. Also, stay tuned. Next week, I'll show you how to make the matching baby mittens. Okay, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to knit this hat, I'll be using these four millimeter circular knitting needles. These are 16 inch, and these are the needles that I'll be using. These are knit picks. These are the short little uh, knitting needles that are perfect for knitting socks and hats. I'll leave the link down here in the information box where you can purchase this nice little set of knitting needles. I'll be using this Erin weight yarn. I'm using paint box yarn. You can use any number four yarn or 10 ply. Now I'm going to show you how to cast on your stitches using the long tail cast on. Now this cables here are too short so I'm going to use this other needle here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to measure the yarn here to determine how much yarn we need for our long tail. So what I like to do is I just like to wrap it around 20 times. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now we have enough yarn here for about 20 stitches. Double it up again, we have enough for about 40. Double it up again, we have enough for 60. And double it up again, we have enough for about 80 stitches. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm just going to make a knot here. Now insert both needles right here. Now this yarn's coming from the yarn that we just measured and this here's coming from the skein. Now we're going to cast on a total of 71 stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Continue until you have 71 stitches and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting all my stitches. I have 71 stitches. Now remove one of the needles here carefully. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to join in the round. We're going to turn this like this. Here's my first stitch. Now to join in the round, I made you cast on an extra stitch. So this stitch here, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this first stitch to this needle and then I'm going to bring the last stitch over this stitch that I just put on my needle like this okay let it go now put this stitch back right here and then we're going to pull that way we are joined and that's what it looks like now we're going to start here. So to start, we're going to knit one, purl one. We're going to make the brim of the hat. So I'm going to knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. That's all we're going to do for this first row. Knit one, purl one. Continue like this to the end. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did knit one, purl one. I have 70 stitches. Now this last stitch here, I am going to purl. If for some reason you end with a knit somewhere here um, along this first row, you have knit two together or you have two purl togethers. So you need to go back and fix it. We need to make sure that we finish this row with a purl. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row. So now for the second row, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to knit the first stitch, purl the next, knit, purl, knit, purl. This is all we're going to do here for the brim. I think I'm going to do about six or seven rows. I'm not sure, uh, but that's all we're going to do. 
uh, knit one, purl one. So when you finish here with a purl, you're going to pass your stitch marker and then knit, purl, knit, purl all around until we have a total of about six or seven rows. Continue watching. I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do here for the brim. So continue this way and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the brim. I have done a total of six rows. So what I'm going to do next here is optional. I'm going to work a couple more rows. I want my brim to be able to fold. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in the next three rows. If you don't want your brim to fold, then just skip this part and then continue where I'm going to begin using the pattern stitch. So here to make the brim fold, this is what we're going to do we're going to this is the beginning of the row so you're going to slip the knit stitch purl the next stitch slip then the knit stitch and then purl the purl stitch slip the knit stitch and purl the purl stitch again slip the knit stitch purl 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 continue like this to the end of this row i'm going to count this as the first row we're going to do a total of three rows just like this and then we're going to go back to knit one purl one so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this first row I'm here at the end of this first row where we have slipped the knit stitch and purl the purl stitches. Now pass your stitch marker and we're going to do this for two more rows. So all you're going to do is slip the knit stitch and purl the purl stitch. Slip the knit stitch, purl the purl stitch. Slip, purl. Slip, Pearl. That's all we're going to do for this second row and then for the third row. Continue. I'll meet you back once we have these three rows done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making three rows. I'm going to make one more row. This is where we were slipping the knit stitches and purling the purl stitches. I'm going to make one more row so that in total we have four rows here. So again, for this fourth row, slip the knit stitch purl slip the knit stitch purl slip and purl slip and purl continue like this for this fourth row and i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this fourth row here for the brim so that it folds i think it's ready for us to continue now so we're going to do the following here for i don't know maybe four or five rows this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. And that's all. So continue like this. I think I'm going to do four rows. If it's more or less, just continue watching. I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do. Again, this part here is basically how we did the first six rows. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I did a total of five rows. So now the brim can fold. As you can see right there, that's what it looks like. Now we're going to make one more row here that's part of the brim. So we're going to knit all around this last row. So this would be row six for the brim. Okay, so continue and knit all around and I'll meet you at the end of this row so that we can get started with the pattern. Okay, I finished making this last row. This is where I knit all around. So now beginning in this next row, we're going to start our pattern. Now this pattern consists of repeating four rows. So this is going to be the first row to the first repeat. So to begin, I'm going to start with knit five, two, three, four, five. Into the next five stitches, I'm going to purl two, knit one, purl two. Again, knit five, one, two, three, four, 
five, and then again, purl two, knit one, purl two. Again, knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. Continue like this to the end of this first row to the first repeat. I'm here at the end of this first row to the first repeat. Now these last five stitches here, I purl two, knit one, purl two. Pass your stitch marker. Now for the second row to the first repeat, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. Again, knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. Continue like this for this second row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row to the first repeat. Here are these last five stitches. I purl two, knit one, purl two. Pass your stitch marker. And now what we're going to do in this third row to the first repeat is the following. We have these five stitches. The first two stitches here, we're going to knit two together, yarn over, knit the third stitch. Now here we're going to do an SSK. We're going to slip like this, slip like this, and we're going to put these two stitches back into the left needle and we're going to knit through the back. But first we're going to yarn over and then knit two together through the back. Now let me show you again. Here we're going to purl two, knit one, purl two. Again, we have the next five stitches. You're going to knit two together, yarn over, knit the third stitch, yarn over, and then you're going to SSK, slip, slip and then put back these stitches like this. This here changes the direction of these two stitches so that now I can knit through the back and then this stitch here now slants to the left, which is what we want. Now the next two stitches, purl two, knit one, purl two. Let me show you again here. We have the next five stitches. Knit two together. Yarn over. Knit the third stitch. Yarn over and then SSK. Remove the stitches like this. One and two. And then put them back on the left needle. And knit two together through the back. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to show you one more time. So purl two here, knit one, purl two. Again, we have the next five stitches. You're going to knit two together, yarn over, knit the third stitch, yarn over, and then SSK, so slip, slip, put back your stitches to this needle, and then knit through the back loop. Don't forget to yarn over here, and that's what it looks like. Now continue like this for this third row to our first repeat, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this third row to the first repeat. Here are these last five stitches. I purl two, knit one, purl two. Pass your stitch marker. And now we're going to complete this repeat with this fourth row. So for the fourth row, you're going to knit 
five. Purl two. Knit one. Purl two. And then again, knit five. Purl two. Knit one. Purl two. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Here at the end, I purl two, knit one, purl two. Now we have completed the first repeat. So now I'm going to show you again the second repeat. So we're going to repeat these last four rows again so that you can continue on your own. So this would be the first row to the second repeat. So all you're going to do here is knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two, and then again, knit five. This is all we're going to do for this first row to the second repeat. Continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row to the second repeat. Now pass your stitch marker and here for the second row, we're going to do the same thing we do on the first row. So knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. Continue like this for this second row to the second repeat. Knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the second row to the second repeat. Now pass your stitch marker. For the third row here, this is where we make the yarn overs. So we have the five stitches here. We're going to knit two together. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then SSK. So we're going to slip, slip, and then put your stitches back here. And now you're going to knit two together through the back. Make sure that this yarn over here is nice and tight. Now you're going to purl two, knit one, purl two, and then again we have the next five stitches. You knit two together, yarn over, knit one, and then SSK. So slip, see like this, slip, slip, put back these two stitches to the left needle. Now yarn over and then knit two together. Make sure that this yarn over is nice and tight. And now you're going to purl two, knit one, purl two. And then one more time, I'm going to show you the yarn overs. Knit two together yarn over, knit one, and then SSK. So slip, see like this, slip, slip, put back these two stitches to the left needle. Now yarn over and then knit two together. And now purl two, knit one, purl two. This is how you're going to continue for this third row to the second repeat. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of the third row for the second repeat. Now pass your stitch marker for the fourth row. You're going to knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. And then again, knit five, purl two, knit one, purl two. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row for this second repeat. 
I finished the fourth row to the second repeat. Now from here on, you're just going to continue and repeat these last four rows that I showed you. I'm not sure how many rows that I'm going to do or how many repeats, but continue watching. I'll let you know how many I'm going to do. So I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I have done a total of seven repeats. So here's the first repeat. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this part here is measuring from here up to here with the brim folded. It's measuring about 13.5 centimeters, which is about 5.25 inches. Now the total height that I need to have for my baby hat for zero to three months, it's about uh, six inches, which is about 15 centimeters. So I need to start to reduce. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to work two more rows of the pattern. So all you do is just knit five, and then purl two, knit one, purl two. That's what I'm going to do for the next two rows. So continue, finish these next two rows, and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to reduce the top of the hat. Okay, I finished making these last two rows where I knit five, purl two, and I did that for the last two rows. Now we're going to start to reduce here the top of the hat. So here we're going to start the first row reduction. So pass your stitch marker. Here there is no right or wrong way of doing this. This is how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to knit two together here. I'm going to knit the next stitch and then knit two together through the back loop. I'm not going to bother changing the direction of those. You won't even be able to see them anyways. And then the next two, I'm going to purl two together, knit one, purl two together, and then knit two together. Knit one, knit two together through the back, purl two together, knit one, purl two together. This is all I'm going to do for this first row of reduction. So continue here, you're going to knit two together, knit one, knit two together, and then purl two together, knit one, purl two together. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this first row reduction. Now for the second row, I'm just going to knit three. I'm not going to reduce in this row. I'm just going to knit three, then purl one, knit one, purl one, and then knit three. And then again, purl one, knit one, purl one. Continue like this to the end of this second row. I finished the second row in this row. I did not reduce. So now for the third row, I am going to reduce. So I am going to knit three together through the back. I'm hoping this is going to be the last row, but we'll see. So knit three together through the back. And then these three, again, knit three together through the back. I'm only going to do this because it's easier to knit three together through the back than purl three together through the front. So just knit three together all the way around for this row. So knit three together through the back and again knit three together through the back. Now my stitches are starting to get a little tight here. So I'm going to pull this and I'm going to knit three together, knit three together. This cable might be a little short, but I think I'll manage, we'll see. So knit three together. And then knit three together through the back. And so on. continue and I'll meet you at the end of this third row. Okay, I finished this last row and I did manage to do it using these needles and uh, using the magic loop technique. So it does work. I'm so glad. 
Now we're going to go ahead and remove these stitches now. I have 14 stitches. If I wanted to, I can um, reduce this even further by knit two together, but I'm just going to uh, close the top of the hat now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this needle here so that all the stitches are here on this end. Now this is where I finished, so we're going to go around this way. Carefully remove these stitches. I do not want to lose anything here. And the last stitch, perfect. Now we're going to hold this loop here, like I said. Now insert the needle through there. This is going to create a little knot here. And now we're going to pull the top of the hat here closed. Perfect, see, that closes the, the hat. looks pretty good now go back through again and reinforce this knot here by just going through again and then tying a little knot again just like that and here's the hat now put this through on the inside And we're going to hide it on the inside here all around. Just going to go through again all around these stitches that we took off from the needles. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. You just make sure that it doesn't come undone. Cut your yarn and turn it over. Here's the top of the hat. Look how cute this is. I love it. So it looks like you can put a little pump on there. So let me try it on my little model here. Here's my little newborn model. Let's see how it fits her. Might be a little big but I think it still works. Now her head circumference is, let's see, 13 inches, which is about 33 centimeters. So it's probably a little too big for a newborn. So let's try my other baby doll. Now this one here, the head circumference for this one is 14 inches, which is about 35.5 centimeters. So this would be for a zero to three months. And let's see how it fits. Perfect. I love it. Look how cute that is. Look, here's the back of the hat. Now, let me try it on my uh, three to six month baby doll. This one here, her head circumference is 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters. So that's um, for a three to six month baby. Let's see how it fits. It fits perfect on her. Look how cute that is. So I'd say that this hat is for a baby from zero to six months. For a newborn baby, you can probably make it exactly in the same way, just use smaller knitting needles um, to make it smaller. But I absolutely love, love this little hat. Look how cute that is. And it was worked in the round using these little short needy needles like i said at the beginning i'll go ahead and leave the link to this nice little set 
um, in the information box. I purchased it from Amazon and they worked perfect. So here's the little hat. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.